everything. All right, guys. So we are trying to recreate a random quote generator. You can see mine here that we're about to build. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it relatively easily. You're going to have a heading. You're going to have kind of a little brief uh, setting. I put a picture in mine for some selfless promotion. It looked a little bland. And even though I'm not really worried about CSS too much, we still want it to look kind of nice. You want to have a button here that when you click on it, displays a new quote. In my case, I did video game quotes. I just gave it a theme that I, you know, um, jobs done, Warcraft 2, welcome to Summoner's Rift, League of Legends. You know, gotta catch them all. This is debatable. You know, if that, that's a video game quote, but I put it up there. You must construct additional pylons. A lot of these I got from my good friend Van. So uh, thank you to Van for that. But we're going to basically recreate that. And you're going to see from here, this is their example. And I kind of just took some artistic styling on my point and did it myself. So they have uh, quotes from the medical field. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright guys, so the way that we're going to start this quote generator and the way we're going to kind of do these videos are we're going to start with HTML end the video. So we're going to knock out all the basic HTML, then we're going to knock out the CSS, and then we're going to knock out the JavaScript because you're going to need to know some jQuery and JavaScript. So before we get that, do all that, just quickly add jQuery to the JavaScript. And also over here, we want to add bootstrap here save it and it, while we're at it let's go ahead and name this uh, Q gen quote generator alright so if you remember so the reason we're gonna do that is we just want a bigger screen and it's just kinda easier to go about this so if you remember from bootstrap when we're working with uh, a responsive design and uh, there's a few things we want to do so typically you don't always have to do this but you pretty much always have to do this from my understanding so container dash fluid and this is just going to be the general div that's going to contain everything and I believe you could do just container as well so the first thing I did was I created the h1 and I, I had this uh, I put a random quote generator so that was our h1 and if you remember there was a list of quotes below or not, not a list of quotes but a um, like a sentence so that we'll say that's our motto or something like that so I just gave this as a paragraph and in this case I put some some of my favorite gaming quotes of all time. Cool. Uh, so there's our paragraph. What else do we need? We needed a button class and oh I also put an image so this is just me. You don't have to do this but if you want to throw an image to spice it up a little bit let's go ahead and throw an image. It's a white image so it's not going to show up too well right now and then I needed to throw a br slash here because actually let's, let's do it without that because um, and this button is something straight out of Bootstrap, part of the reason that we took it. So we're just going to take a button, and in my case, I put the new quote. If you wanted to put something else, you could put hello world or whatever, and that's how you would change this quote. But, um, new quote is, uh, is perfectly fine by me. So what did I do next? I wanted to create a container that, or a div below it that would store the author, that stored the author and the quote in a box with a border just to separate it from everything because that's really the main focus here. You click on something, a new quote comes up. So I just created a div here and we'll give this a name in a second. And then inside here, I gave it, um, I created two spans. And the reason for this is we want one span, the way I did it, and there's better ways of doing this, but the way that I set up my JavaScript is I have two arrays, one with the quote and one with the author. And then one spans for the quote and one spans for the author, so they get different styling. That's just how I did it. Um, there's definitely a better way. You could probably do a double array, and that would work even better. Um, 
So I just created a span and I gave it a class of class is equal to quote. And this will be when we do our CSS. And then we gave it a, a class is equal to author. Cool. And then for my div here, for the styling, I just named it quotes. And then I also um, gave it the the JavaScript class, or excuse me, the bootstrap class text-center. And I also wanted this button to be down below. So what do I do? After my image, I just put a br slash. And there's, there's better ways of doing this again, but I'm always just trying to go right through everything. So, and then last but not least, I added a second div here. Let's see if we can do um, just text centered here. So, I think if we do that, we can take out all this because we want all our text to be centered. And f so, this was basically how I set it up. I know it doesn't look like that much, but it is pretty pretty solid in what it is that we want to do we have our heading we have our saying we have an image we have a new quote and right here below we have our spans and div set up so that it will add the new quote so why don't we just throw some text in here and just so that we can see it because uh, right now we can't see pretty much anything so hello world and we'll put dash the world and this is the extent of our HTML that we're going to be setting up it I know it doesn't look like much and it's not it's it's kind of more of a practice in how to set up JavaScript and and jQuery and work with it there so let's go ahead and so next next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna style this a little bit in CSS for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and want to see more and also check out my new series let's talk code that's going to have programming news tips and tricks a little bit of tech and just a little bit of my own personal hobbies and preferences so if you enjoy that go ahead it's very casual check it out and i'll see you guys in the next video